Max Gregor Moser knows a lot about the brain. Tell us, those are the cardinal points. And basically a 2009 graduate of Drew, Gregor Moser works as a postgraduate research associate at the Yale Child Study Center in New Haven, Connecticut. One of his duties is to study the brain activity in children. So we do a lot of work with impoverished individuals or uh, people that have a certain uh, clinical diagnosis. So we're seeing lots of people with anxiety disorders or um, people who have substance use problems. Gregor Moser uses a net with sponges and electrodes to measure the brain's activity. Then he says he's able to see how the brain responds in certain situations. I'll have people do various tasks and we can kind of assess their brain wave response and how one's response differs depending on the task that they're doing. Gregor Moser says he went to Drew knowing he would major in psychology, but it wasn't until later on when he determined he liked doing research. I didn't have an, a clear goal in mind, um, but I kind of learned through my courses that this is probably where I'd be and this is a good place to go if you really want to understand the fundamentals of the science. Gregor Moser spent two summers interning at the center while still a student at Drew. He used that time to perform research for his senior thesis and says the experience was very valuable as he prepared to graduate. You learn a lot about how uh, different processes work and kind of what goes on beyond the textbook and really understanding what it's like to be working and how the field that you're in really the nuts and bolts of it. Gregor Moser says he ultimately wants to work as both a clinician and as a scientist. He says eventually he wants to go to graduate school to get either a master's degree in psychiatric nursing or a PhD in clinical psychology. In New Haven, Connecticut, for Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.